For years, Rockville High School has been teaching about alternate green solutions. Our electronics and engineering department has shined light on this by building the Maglev car. We have a computer system here with a timer. I've got magnetic timers that can show acceleration, deceleration, and they can judge who's the fastest within a thousandth of a second. Our green team entered the Connecticut Light and Power Live Green, Win Green competition. We received a $20,000 grant to help fund our STEM lab. There's something the kids are doing in school that's up to date with the most current technology that can lead to careers, and it's fun. Another green solution we have available at our school is motion sensor lights. That way, if someone forgets to turn off the lights, we can save power when no one is in the room. You can see them up in the corner where they pick up sound and, uh, and motion. Now, where would you use that technology? You know those, uh, those vacuum cleaners they have on the floor, the robot yeah. vacuum cleaners? Same technology. In 2012, Connecticut got hit by Hurricane Sandy. Some of us even lost power for up to 10 days. The lack of power among us inspired a technology education teacher here at our school to build the Green Machine. The Green Machine is a green solution to power outages. On a smaller scale, the green machine, when fully charged by the sun, can even power a refrigerator or a TV for up to a couple of hours. You run out of gas for your generator, you pull this puppy out and you put it in the sun, and then that, that night you can watch your TV for a couple hours. Along with that, our school has solar panels on the roof. Students can access power generation values for use in the classroom. And you can look online for Hartford, Springfield, Boston to see what the azimuth and zenith of the sun is. A green classroom will be a classroom of the future, and technology will get us there. Which means that the batteries are charging. Just like the treadle sewing machine was once revolutionary, we are now in the green revolution. Green technologies are even powering this school video.